Hello and welcome to Paper Plays Julie Kay. Thanks so much for stopping by and recently I participated in a little collaboration on Valentine's Day and one of my viewers had asked if I would show a tutorial on how to put together some of the paper clips I used in this stack of letters. And so if you guys are interested in looking at the whole stack of letters that I created, I will link that collab video down below in the description box. But I'm just going to call these paper clip clusters because that's basically what they are, is just little clusters that I put together and added paper clips to them. If you're watching, you could definitely just make a cluster and add it to a journal as a tuck spot. Also, you don't have to add the paper clip to it. But I'm just going to show you real quick a couple of those paper clips that I had questions on. So here was one of them. You can see the paper clip on the back side. And these actually do come out. And so I'm going to make some very similar ones. I don't have this exact same paper. I used it all up in this stack of letters. It was Stamperia Shabby Roses. And so I just dug through my stash to find some stuff that looked similar or would look the same to put one of these together. Another little cluster right here. You can see once you pull this off, it's just a couple little elements on this little paper clip. And then for those of you that are interested, at the end of the video, I'll put this paper clip together also. This one with just the hearts, if you guys are interested in how I did that one. And then I will also put together a little snippet paper clip cluster here, um, just with fabric. So those are what I'm going to be doing, very similar to the ones I just showed you, but different just based on the supplies that I have in my stash. So to begin with, to make a paper clip cluster, you need some sort of base. And for the ones that I made in that previous stack of letters, I just used a postcard journal card. It was a journal card that looked like a postcard. This time I went ahead and dug through my stash and I found this really pretty Project Life card and it was a little bit longer and I did trim it. So this was added on right here. And I trimmed it down and I used this little piece that we're going to add on to this cluster. But now it is about four and a half inches long. And I just cut it down because I didn't think that I would be making any journals that were six inches long. So I wanted one that was a little bit smaller. Then I also cut a back side to this and I just traced this. So you have two pieces of your base that are the same size. Your back one can also be smaller, a little bit smaller, and you can use a scrap of paper also. I did add, um, I have a little doily remnant that we're going to add to our cluster. I have a die cut heart that I cut out. And this die cut heart comes from a Sizzix Tim Holtz die. And I have it sitting here. I'll just show you guys. It is called Heartfelt. And that's the number right there if you are interested. And it just have a, has a bunch of hearts. So it's kind of a fun little die. And then before I filmed, I did go ahead and add some eyelash trim. And this is the eyelash trim I used. It's just white. You guys can buy this at Hobby Lobby. I often find it at the thrift store for next to nothing. So I usually buy it at the thrift store. And I just went ahead and glued it on the back of my heart. And that was just for a little bit of added interest. I also have just a little shabby flower I'm going to probably add. And then this was the piece I cut off on that Project Life card and I went ahead and die cut this little banner piece right here. And this is either from a Spellbinders or a Sizzix die. I have a lot of these dies. So, um, and then I also cut out a little postcard and this came from some scrapbook paper pad, but you guys can also find postcards on digital kits when you buy them and other scrapbooking paper. And then I also added a piece of lace. This one is a remnant from a design team project that I did for Craft Supply for You, and I think she still has this one available on our site, but I'm not sure. I also die cut the word love, and this came from a Sizzix die. I have a paper clip. I have a hot glue gun and I will probably use some other glues sitting on my desk. I have this Fabri-Tac glue. I have this adhesive fine line tech. I like this one for detailed stuff. 
and I also have tacky glue, so not quite sure yet until I get going which glues I'm going to use, but that's probably most likely what I'll be using. And if I need it, I do have a scissor sitting on my desk, but I'm not sure if we'll need that or not. And so the first step is to go ahead and I like to either, you can either put your paper clip on right away or you can create your cluster and we'll just go ahead and add the paper clip on. And so this is kind of a little bit of a hidden paper clip. There are lots of tutorials out there on this. But what you do is you take your the back side that you want showing and you put your paper clip on. So then, you know, your paper clip has the big one here and the little one in the middle. So you want the big one on the back side. And that's what you will use to hook on to your stack of envelopes or if you're adding it to a journal, that's where you want it. And then you flip it over this way, so then it's the smaller one showing, and we're going to actually end up gluing this down. And for this step, I do like to use hot glue. I find it goes fast. Um, you can use any other type of adhesive that glues quite well. And I just add a little bit of extra glue kind of around the paper clip area. And since it is hot glue, you do need to work kind of fast because it does dry fast and you just line up your top piece with that bottom piece and so that's our base and again if you flip it over you have a paper clip now that you can hook onto your stack of letters or whatever you want and now we're going to decorate this real quick and so I'm going to start off with, I think with a doily just it adds a little added interest and I might cut part of it off but I'm going to put it up in the corner because my idea then is to add this little piece right here. And we'll probably add something down there also. So when I work with the little fine detail stuff like this one, I do like to switch over to some sort of fine line tip glue. I know a lot of people like that Art Institute glitter glue. That works good too. Um, but this one works for me and it's readily available in my local craft store. And so I am just going to trim off the excess pieces here. And next I'm going to go ahead and glue down my postcard. But with the postcard, because I do want to make it into an actual tuck spot like I did in the stack of letters so that you could stack or tuck some sort of tag into it. And these are just some tags I have sitting on my desk. I want to be able to tuck some tags behind here. You just want to glue on two sides. So I'm going to be gluing on the side and the bottom. And I'm just going to go ahead and use the tacky glue for this. And so we're essentially just creating a tuck spot on top of our paper clip here. And when I had that original stack of letters, I before I even did anything, I did actually go around and sew, sew around this bottom piece before I did the, the paper clip, but I'm not doing that for this video. So if you wanted to sew or stitch around the edges, you could. I decided to go ahead and add just a, this little remnant that I had. I'm just trying to use up some of my stash and my little bits and pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and add this to the bottom. And for gluing lace to paper, I really like to use Fabri-Tac glue. And I think I'm just going to cut this little piece off right here that's hanging. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add this little love word to my little banner piece or pennant piece here. And again, I'm just going to use this little fine line glue. If you don't have die cuts, you can just use um, a word that you typed up on your computer and glue it down onto another little like rectangle piece. That would work. You could also just cut out some words from a magazine or a book or you could rubber stamp on a little rectangle piece of scrap paper and if you want to make it look with the little fish tails on the side it's pretty easy if you have a rectangle piece you just cut in like that so 
um, if you don't have die cuts, it's pretty easy to make something look very similar to this. And so I'm going to glue this down and then I'm going to layer the heart and I'm going to add the little flower on there too. I'm going to go ahead and use the tacky glue. And the tacky glue is kind of my preferred um, go-to glue just for basic paper to paper. It's cheap and I can readily find it here. So that's usually what I use on most of my projects. And I found long term that the tacky glue holds everything in place. I haven't had good luck with like glue sticks. I know a lot of people use glue sticks. But after a year or two, my stuff fall apart when I use the glue sticks. So I stick with the tacky glue. Um, if you have the Art Institute glue, that of course works. So I'll be gluing this down here. You can still see the word love. And then this right up here. So I'll use the tacky glue again for my heart. And then since again this is a trim or a little fabric piece, I'm going to go ahead and switch back to the Fabri-Tac. The Fabri-Tac does also work if you want to glue paper to paper. But for me the Fabri-Tac is a little bit more expensive and I just prefer, like I said, to use the the tacky glue because it's cheaper and so I just use this glue for for gluing my trims trims onto projects and so that's a little cluster of course if you wanted to decorate yours differently you could with different items um, I did have this little bird or something we could have added added that somewhere on here too but then again um, now we have our little paper clip cluster and you can go ahead and add some sort of tag to the little pocket there. And of course I would go ahead and add some trim up there, but I'm not gonna do that on camera on those. And so next I'm gonna show you guys how to create a similar paperclip cluster using trims and bits and pieces. So that's what this one looks like. On this one you guys can see I just used a fa fabric piece of fabric linen remnant on the one I'm going to show you guys I'm just going to go ahead and use some felt so I already cut the felt into little circles I might have to cut them smaller I'm not sure and this flower is kind of coming apart here so here's basically how I put this flower right here together I still had the pieces I had this little I don't know if you want to call it a doily but it was part of a bigger um, table runner that I cut apart and so that's what it looks like. And then on top of that, I had this remnant left over from a lace trim. Anything will work. You just want something that has a little bit hanging down off of it. So I'll glue that down. And then if you look at this one, I did have this white flower, this bigger flower. It looked very similar to this cream colored one. I don't have any more of the white one. So I'm going to do something a little bit different, I think, in the middle of this one. But and then I would have put this down and added my paper clip on the back. Um, but we'll layer up some different stuff. I have some eyelash trim. And I have this little flower that I cut apart. Again, it was from a bigger doily. It was like a Battenberg type doily. And then I have these smaller white flowers. I'm going to go ahead and add one of those. But first, let's add the paper clip. So we do essentially the same thing what we did with the paper is you, go, you want your back side to have the bigger part of it and then the smaller on the inside and then we're going to go ahead and glue this down and I will use the hot glue gun for this so it's essentially like I said this exact same way we put together that the paper cluster So now we have our little paper clip on the back to hook on to a stack of letters or in a journal. And of course, if you wanted it to go from the side, you can arrange your paper clip whatever direction you want. This one's going to go from the top. Then I'm going to glue down these layers and I'm going to use the Fabri-Tac glue. And for attaching the eyelash trim for this 
I just like to bunch it up and just kind of glue it down. And then we'll cut off one of these flowers. Now I was quite generous with the glue on the back of this just because of the eyelash trim underneath it. And then if you wanted to take it a step further, you could go ahead and add a little flat back pearl or a piece of bling in the middle of this. And I do find that the hot glue gun works the best um, for this. Or if you are doing like the flat back pearls on paper, the glossy accents works good. And this is taking a while to dry underneath there, so I'm just going to go ahead and zap it with a little bit of hot glue while I'm gluing that down. And so that is our little paper clip cluster, and you can see you can just hook it again. Um, here's another little version. I'm not going to put this one together. I'll just lay it out for you guys, but I would... Here's another little remnant, and then I could add the flower on top. I'd probably add a little piece of eyelash trim. And then I put a, another little flower or something on top of that. So that's kind of another, another quick one to show you guys. And then next I'll show you a heart one very similar to that one. <clears throat> so I did cut out hearts. I did two the same size. So this would be my front and this is my back. I did go ahead and you can see I inked the edges. I also cut out a smaller heart and put eyelash trim on it for the middle piece. And if you're wondering, this heart is from another Sizzix die. And that one is called Primitive Hearts. And I guess the number is not focusing very well, but the number is 656335. And again, it's called Primitive Hearts and it's from Sizzix. So again, you need to decide first if you want your paper clip. This one I have coming from the side, but you could also have it coming from the back. I think I'm gonna do another side one. So again, make sure your big part's on the back side. And your your smaller inside piece is right there. And I'm gonna use the hot glue. And if anyone's wondering, the paper collection here was just a scrap piece that I had and it was left over from the Prima paper pad called Love Story. I know a while back um, Hobby Lobby used to sell them. Our Hobby Lobby hasn't had them for a, lo a long time. If they did, I'd probably pick up more. It's one of my favorite paper collections. So now I have a paper clip on the back. And to decorate this one, I'm just going to put the little heart on top. So there's not much to this one. If you wanted, you could, of course, add, you know, another layered word or something across the front of that if you wanted to. That one that we used earlier, that love one, would have been a good one to put on this one. And I probably would have cut it out in a pink color just to coordinate. You could also decorate it up with a button or a little flower in the middle of this also if you wanted to add another element to this paper clip. And so there is our little heart one. And if you're still not bored, I'll put together one more paper cluster one together similar to the very first one that we made, just a different style. And, um, and this one, I guess I haven't inked my edges yet, so I might go ahead and do that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna corner ed corner around my edges. And this is a Crocodile We Are Memory Keepers corner chomper. And this one's nice, it has a one, one half inch setting and a one fourth inch setting to give you different sizes for your corners. So before I continued on with this one, I just wanted to show you guys where I got these postcards from. Um, it was came from this paper, and I think they still have another one in here that they have some of the postcards in here. Um, here's this one that we're working with now, and then here's the one that we worked with earlier. But again, there's a lot of digital kits out there um, that you can purchase off of Etsy. And I know um, if you want just a postcard kit that's just all postcards, I think Tsunami Rose has one that's just different postcards that you can buy. And as far as these little pieces right here, um, I did purchase this quite a while ago at Tuesday morning. It was kind of a die cut cardstock. It was from K and Company. 
and they had all these little ephemera pieces and they had backsides to them so a lot of them look have something different on the back side which is kind of nice because you could easily put that one back there on that side also um, I know companies like Seven Gypsies and a company called Art C. They have little ephemera kits like this that you can purchase. And of course, if you hit your thrift stores or antique shops, you can find little ephemera pieces also. So I think I'm going to keep that one in the front. And I'm just going to layer some of these pieces and then add the word discover on there. So first of all, we'll go ahead and add a paper clip and I think last time I did it on this side I'm going to do it on this side this time so again putting the smaller piece on the inside and the back one the larger one on the back So that's what we have so far. And this one, I'm not going to add any laces or trims to it. I just did, this is a little bit different style. So again, you can decide, you know, both sides I think would look cute depending upon. I just like this contrast with this one being a little bit darker. I'm going to go ahead and glue it down with the tacky glue. And again, I'm only going to glue it on two sides because I do want to make it into a tuck spot on this paper clip. I'm going to glue this one down and I might glue this one down too just to on glue in on two sides in case I want a double tuck spot there for a smaller tag. This was part of that ephemera kit. It had postage and it looks like a postage stamp on both sides but you could actually use a real postage stamp if you have one. Because I like adding words to things, I'm going to also add that word discover on there. And I'll switch over again to a fine tip glue. So I have a couple of those tags again, and we could just go ahead and add those. You know, to finish it off, I will add some ribbon or something to the top of those. And then we also have that little tuck spot here, so I'll probably dig through my stash and see if I can find a smaller tag to put in there. But that's basically another little quick paper clip cluster, and of course my table was dirty, so I'll probably just go ahead and ink the back of this one so it kind of matches. That's why you should wipe down your workspace after you're done <laughs> inking. But that works. And so there is that cluster that we created. Thanks everybody so much for watching. Hopefully I answered some of your questions on how I put together my paperclip clusters that I had put together for that stack of envelopes. Again, I will have that other video listed below if you guys are interested. If you have any more questions, please leave them below in the comments and of course leave a comment um, if you were inspired by what I created today. I really love reading your guys' comments and it kind of helps me decide what types of future videos I share with you guys when I create things. Um, so, so by all means, please leave a comment and until next time, I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and happy crafting.